Hi and welcome back, it's Vicky here and today I'm going to showcase the Tony Craft Kit number 18. First I'm going to uh, go through all the products that you will get in the kit and then I'm going to share a couple of projects. So first uh, I'm starting with this pot, this is a glitter pot and the color is called Purple Plasma. You also get a confetti pot, the name is Rainbow Quartz Triangles and I really love the color because it's very versatile and you can use it for pretty much any project. You will also get two mini Nouveau Drops, a bluish one and a pink one. The bluish is called Calming Aqua and the pink one is called Honeysuckle. One of them is actually a jewel drop which means that it is kind of translucent while the bluish is um, a crystal drop so it is opaque. You will also get this uh, new product, this is completely new and it is again a Nouveau drop but this is uh, a dream drop which means that it is kind of iridescent, the color is called supernova and it's absolutely gorgeous in real life. And finally you will also get a little uh, mini jar of uh, embossing powder and the color is ocean sparkle. And now let's take a look at the stamps and the dies. Of course they come in a lovely wallet. Uh, you also get a sticker that I always like to stick in front. And uh, let's start with the stamps. There are actually five stamps. All of them are beautiful writings. Uh, perfect for lots of occasions like um, thank you, sending love and lovely sentiments. Lovely and white sentiments, especially if you like to create vertical cards. Now in terms of uh, dies, you get seven dies, a lot of dies and gorgeous dies. Look at all that intricate design. They look like lace. Some of them cut out the border, some of them don't. They just cut out only the design inside the paper. And you will see what I mean later on. I love that you can use all those dies to create shaker cards. You can create gatefold cards that I am going to show you today. You can put those next to each other to create a beautiful design, continuous design. And one die that is uh, absolutely adorable and I will be using it again and again is this one that adds a tiny stitching. You can use it in pretty much every project that you make. And these were the secret garden stamps and dies that are exclusive to the kit so you can't get them separately. Now let's take a look at the papers that you will get. Now you will actually get seven different uh, papers. Some of them are textured cards, some of them are mirror, pearlescent, there is a glitter card as well. I am going uh, quickly through them so you can see how gorgeous they are and I also try to catch the light for you. Look how amazing this one is. But that's not all, you know that Tonic are uh, very generous with their kids and you will get an extra pack of uh, papers, 6x6 six six papers and you can see all the colors here, 24 of them in one pack. So I'm going to share a couple of cards. I have a piece of uh, the pearlescent cardstock from the kit and that's the one that is called um, Burly Blush. And I'm going to create a gatefold card. So the piece that I have here is uh, five and a half by eight and a half, and you need to score at two and one eighth on both sides. So you get this uh, lovely gatefold card. And I'm going for a very elegant looking card today, a perfect one for a wedding. So I'm going to use this beautiful die to create a lovely lace on both those flaps. I'm going to secure that with some purple tape just to make sure that this is not going to move on me. And I'm going to run it through my die cutting machine and here is what I get. It's a really beautiful design, very elegant and I'm going to repeat the same uh, process for the other flap. Also notice that uh, the design doesn't cut out the outside edge of this lace which makes the tie more versatile and gives you more opportunities on how you can use it. However I'm going to use for these uh, two flaps the other die that matches perfectly on the outside of this design to cut it out. So I'm making sure that it is nicely aligned there, I'm going to secure it down with some purple tape, run it through my die cutting machine and I will repeat the same process for both the flaps. And here is what I ended up having and you repeat the same idea with the other border dies on the kit so you can create lots and lots of different uh, looking uh, gatefold cards. Now just because these are real transparent I want to create a kind of a semi-transparent look for the gates, for the flaps, so that you don't really see what's written inside. 
So I'm going to cover these uh, underneath with uh, some vellum, which is going to keep that touch of elegance. So I'm just using this die to cut out two pieces out of vellum that I can stick underneath the flaps. To stick those pieces down, I'm using my Nouveau Deluxe white glue. And although this is vellum, you will see that when this dries, you won't be able to tell well that, where that glue is. It dries completely transparent and it doesn't show through vellum, which is absolutely perfect. Another reason why I love Nouveau Deluxe. Once uh, this is stuck nicely down, I am going to use my scissors to cut off the excess. And then, of course, I will repeat the same process for the other side. Now I need to have a place to write down my message on the inside. And uh, I'm going to stick this uh, piece of white paper, which is slightly smaller, so it gives me a lovely border all around. And I think this, is, this gives a more finished touch to my card. And now one thing that you need to consider here is how you're going to keep those flaps closed. So one way is to use um, a lovely ribbon to tie a bow around it, or you can create a little belt with cardstock or even with vellum. In my case, I decided to go quite simple, so I just embossed my sentiment on top of a thin strip from the cardstock that I used for the base of the card. So this is the lovely pearlescent cardstock as uh, the background. And I'm just going to uh, wrap it around and secure it at the back. When you glue this piece at the back, make sure that it's not too tight so it is easy for the recipient to slide it up and down. I also went with one of the sentiments from the stamp set that says wishing you happiness and I think this makes the perfect and elegant card for a wedding. Here are some close-up photos on the first card for today. And the plan was to share just one card for this video, but I just couldn't help it. I had to use one more of the border dies. So I'm going to pull together very quickly another card just to show you one more way that you can use these beautiful and uh, intricate dies. So I'm just securing this on a piece of uh, panel. My panel is four and a quarter by five and a half. I'm going to run it through my die cutting machine. And here is the result. I'm going to put the beautiful glitter cardstock at the back to create a lovely window card. I am using glue to stick those pieces together, but of course you can use foam tape to have some dimension between the front uh, panel and uh, the one at the back. You can even turn it into a shaker card with beautiful elements inside that window just by covering it up at the back with acetate. So many different ways to use those uh, dies. And also this would make a beautiful uh, gatefold card. This is a lovely design to place on uh, both of those flaps. Now to turn this panel into a card, you can stick any die cut sentiment on top. You can even stamp any of the sentiments included in the kit. I decided to use the same glitter cardstock and cut out just the word hello. And I'm using one of the new products by Nouveau. These are called amethyst squares in this uh, beautiful color that matches perfectly the color of my cardstock. So I'm going to use three of them to embellish my card a little bit more, just because it doesn't have enough sparkle, I guess. And I'm going to stick those down with my Nouveau Deluxe. And here are some close-up photos on the last super quick card that I pulled together. So these were the projects for today, showcasing the Tonic Craft Kit. I hope you had fun, that you got inspired. Thank you all so much for visiting today and I'll see you all next week.